we have a great breadth of pathology here. We see a, many different diseases. Um, and being specifically focused in doing imaging of the abdomen and pelvis, um, I, since I've finished my training, I've continued to learn a great deal more. And it's been great to be, we're part of a group that's definitely pushing the envelope in, uh, in what's being done with imaging. Um, we're able to, to do new things all the time. And uh, having an understanding of the disease processes, um, being able to focus on just certain organs and having a better understanding of the disease processes lets you uh, both be an expert at reading the images, uh, provide more information than uh, potentially a general radiologist, um, as well as being able to develop new, uh, new sequences to evaluate things and uh, new ways to, to make diagnoses. For patients, that means, I mean, they're getting more definitive answers from imaging for sure. We, we can be much more confident in what type of tumor they have potentially. Um, we can be much more confident in uh, the, what disease process they have and give more definitive diagnoses, which can potentially save them time to get to a diagnosis, um, as well as potentially save them surgeries or another procedure if we can definitively diagnose things by imaging that would otherwise require a biopsy. All of the, the cutting edge things that are happening in ablation, we're researching on it, we're uh, evaluating it, uh, we bring it into the clinics first. And so being on that leading edge makes us very comfortable with using the equipment. We've done more of these procedures um, individually and as a group, especially than uh, many centers. And uh, if there's ever a procedure that we're doing where we're having, we have a question about what's going on, we've got all of our colleagues to bounce ideas off of while the procedure is going on to get the best treatment for the patient.